This is what people call, let me write it down so that you have it. This is what people call ad hoc. It's Latin for, I think, here and there, or it's like as it comes up. It's an ad hoc assumption. And as we introduce quantum mechanics the rest of this week, you will see uh, that's what quantum mechanics is built on. It's built on these foundations of ad hoc assumptions, which are, um, which are not mathematically very appealing. You know, with a special relativity, you had a, almost like a search for aesthetics. The Maxwell's equations, they are so beautiful, you want them to be right. So for those to be right, the postulate of special relativity has to be right. With the quantum mechanics, it's going to look ugly because it's going to look like a patchwork of these ad hoc assumptions. Out of those, some pattern will emerge. And um, in fact, I can start off with one, um, uh, start off with one thing. So we said, uh, let's see, how do I put it? So here, this is how I was trying to describe it, right? Planck was uh, imagining these hypothetical oscillators, which he doesn't know very well. So to which he assigns some special property which are not familiar, but which gives the right result. And you know, who's to say what these little microscopic oscillators are like? Who's to say like this isn't really their property? And um, Einstein is the one to take this idea and actually apply it more broadly. So um, this is so we don't have time to go over the whole thing. So this is the base. Uh, um, this is the explanation of something called the photoelectric effect. It's an effect observed uh, when uh, ultraviolet light shines on metal surfaces they see electrons popping out of the, the metal surface. Uh, I can show you videos and all that next time before your lab, the lecture before the lab. And um, it had a certain features to it that people had a difficulty explaining using classical theory of electrodynamics. And Einstein, actually his Nobel Prize is based on his explanation of this. He didn't get Nobel Prize on special relativity because I guess special relativity was too theoretical. And if you want to get um, Nobel Prize, you want to do something useful with it. That's why mathematicians don't get Nobel Prize. Well, they get usually Nobel Prize for economics. Um, <laughs> they get Fields Medal. They have their own prize. Um, and the starting point for Einstein explaining photoelectric effect was this additional assumption. He assumed this. Um, he said, so this is for photoelectric, this is an extension of this idea for photoelectric effect, where there are no thermal oscillators like there are in black bodies. He said, um, let's see, how do you put it? So when light exchanges energy with, um, when electromagnetic radiation exchanges energy with any other object, so when light interacts with matter, the amount of energy that the light can transfer is limited this way. The, the amount of energy exchanged can only come in units of this, or it can only be some integer number times hf, where this is integer. I guess at first sight, this looks like the exact same thing as this, right? The amount of energy is, comes in some discrete quantized quantity. The difference is this. Um, this pertains to some unknown object. No one knows anything about oscillators. Light, people have been debating about light for centuries, since Newton's time. There was this whole debate about corpuscular theory of light and wave theory of light. Wave theory one, we are supposed to believe that light is wave. But when you start introducing this discrete energy, it begins to sound more particular, like particle. You are almost saying light interacts with the matter like a particle. 
So uh, what Einstein is claiming, claiming with this assumption is much more broadly applicable to something that we are supposed to know very well. That's why um, I guess it's Nobel Prize worthy. <laughs> Mark Planck stopped here. He stopped with oscillators. He didn't try to extend this assumption to even you know, more. Einstein took that idea and extended it to things that people thought they understood to explain an effect that we are going to go into next Thursday. And if there's time next Thursday, we'll talk about De Broglie hypothesis, where somebody takes this idea and extends it even more, applies it even more generally.